What happens if we combine all the flags of all the countries? Well, before we do that, we have to deal with this. But Nepal is not the only problem. Switzerland's flag, for example, is a square, and many other flags have different proportions. So because I don't want to stretch them, I just chose an aspect ratio of 4 to 3, and I centered each flag within it. And now we are ready to average all the flags pixel by pixel. Yes, there will be some transparent pixels at the edges, but we can live with that. And if we do the calculation, the average flag of all the countries looks like this. Let me just increase the contrast so we can see the details more clearly. So first of all, the Union Jack is clearly visible. Four countries included in their flag, but they are enough to make an impact. Next, we obviously have to talk about the three vertical stripes, blue, yellow and red. No, I didn't accidentally copy the Romanian flag multiple times. Chad did, but I didn't. Of course, those colors in this particular configuration are very common. Yes, most are European countries, we will come back to that later. Horizontal stripes are also noticeable, but aside from a hint of white in the middle stripe, no particular color stands out. Diagonal ones are even less prominent. Finally, a bunch of crests averages in the middle. Of course, if we zoom in, we can see some details of individual countries. But now, let's see how flags vary across different continents. This is Europe. Again, let's increase the contrast. And evidently, as we hinted before, Europe is a continent responsible for the blue, yellow and red stripes we saw in the global average. Asia is more red than I expected. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Africa is predominantly green, mostly towards the bottom, transitioning to more yellow as we move upwards. And although the vertical stripes are the more clearer, there is a healthy amount of diagonal ones as well. North America has a very colorful center, surrounded by two blue, slightly purple stripes and a reddish, pinkish one. The South American one goes yellow, blue, red. 3 out of 12 countries follow this pattern after all. And finally, Oceania holds no surprises. It's blue, it has the Union Jack, it has birds, stars and waves. But we can go a level deeper exploring regions of the world that, while not continents, are often considered as distinct areas. For example, the Middle East. Many similar flags resulting of course in a very well-defined average. Same goes for the Nordic countries. Yes, the colors are weird, purple and brown, but what stands out is of course the Nordic cross. The Balkans are very red and very cresty, while the Caribbean countries are very blue and very cresty with all sorts of lines as well. But there is one line that is the most important and is this red line that shows that you are still watching this video. So thank you for sticking around and see you next time.